Yo, so how's it going guys? Welcome back to another GTA 5 video. So as I'm sure you guys are aware, we're fully in the swing of the Halloween update in GTA 5 Online. Rockstar Games have already rolled out a bunch of Halloween events, including of course the Jack O'Lanterns one, which I have covered on my channel, as well as the UFO event. Now I've seen a lot of people unaware that Rockstar Games have still got more content planned to release for this Halloween update, which we're going to be taking a look at in today's video, and some of the things I'm pretty sure you guys will be interested in so as always if you guys do appreciate me keeping you up to date with all of the latest gta 5 news all i ask is you do return the favor by dropping a like down below and if you guys are new around here hit that subscribe button and turn notifications on as i do post daily gta 5 videos with that being said let's get into the video okay so firstly i do want to address a few things that i've seen of you guys having issues with the current halloween event going on right now being the ufo event now if you guys aren't aware a ufo will spawn in the game every single day for the next two weeks or so and in order for you guys to complete this challenge all you simply have to do is take a picture of these ufos and send them to amiga now i will leave a link down low in the description to a map that is going to update every single day with the ufo location so currently we are on day three and here on screen what you guys can see is the location of the ufo on day three i'm currently doing this challenge so i will try and keep you guys up to date with all of these ufos and if you guys ever have any questions for me outside of youtube comments be sure to go ahead and join my discord server as that is the best way you guys can ever ask me any questions if you're ever having any trouble with these challenges i'm always active on my discord server so feel free to go ahead and join that however as you guys can see on screen for day three the location is basically over at mount chiliad now i've seen a few comments on yesterday's video from you guys telling me that when you go to the ufo all you get is thunder and lightning and you don't see any ufo and that's basically because you guys are going too close to the location you want to keep somewhat of a distance to the ufo just so you guys can take a picture if you guys drive too close to the thing then it will just disappear now there is a different type of ufo that will be spawning during this event that will be able to abduct you when that ufo does spawn in i will be making a video on it so like i said make sure you guys do have notifications turned on now here on screen shows the dates of all of the ufos and when they will spawn but like i said i will leave a link to a map down low in the description that will update every single day however you guys can afford to miss certain ufos you just want to keep note of the dates that have an hourglass next to them you guys cannot miss these ufos as these will only be spawning once now i know a lot of you guys are going to be thinking what do i actually get for taking all these pictures of these ufos well you're actually going to be getting rewarded with a bit of cash so i believe it's 50k for the first one then 15k for every other one however for taking pictures of all of the normal ufos you guys will be unlocking these rare caps as you guys can see on screen they do come in three different colors and if you guys are able to get abducted by one of these ufos you will unlock these rare boxer shorts which also come in two different colors so if you guys were wondering is it worth doing it if you guys do like unlocking rare clothing items then maybe go ahead and do so but i've also seen a lot of people thinking this ufo event in gta 5 is the lead up of a gta 6 reveal later on in the month i will be making a video on that very very soon however like i said this video is purely based on all of the new halloween content that we can expect to see in the coming weeks so hopefully that has cleared up a few issues that i've seen you guys leaving comments on my videos of saying that you can't take pictures of these ufos just don't go too close to the distance and you guys should be able to do this challenge very very easy now like i also mentioned there is another challenge currently going on known as the jack o lanterns challenge where you guys will have to go ahead and collect 200 pumpkins and for doing so all you guys will be rewarded with is this pumpkin tea so personally i don't think it's worth going around and collecting 200 of them because it has to be done in a single day just to unlock a t-shirt i don't know who the hell is in charge of like the reward system over at rockstar games but they really need to fire that person and employ someone new maybe in the community that maybe understands what the majority of the community would go ahead and collect 200 items for maybe like a rare car or something i could see every single player going ahead and doing this challenge for like 
even a gun livery stuff like with pumpkins on it something extra just to get a t-shirt for collecting 200 of them me personally i can't blame you guys if you just want to leave this challenge alone now instead if you don't want to go ahead and collect 200 you can go ahead and collect 10 of them which will unlock this pumpkin mask and by unlocking this pumpkin mask it's actually going to unlock like a secret action that is a creepy laughing sound so it's probably worth going ahead and collecting 10 as that could be done very very easily and i will leave a link to a video down low in the description where it shows you guys where you can find 10 of these pumpkins in close proximity so you could do this literally within three minutes or so now i've also seen a few players complaining that they went ahead and collected all 200 but you haven't been rewarded with your pumpkin tea what i would suggest for you guys is to go over to the social club website open a ticket with rockstar games and just explain to them with your gamer tag they should be able to check this stuff in the background files if you guys have gone ahead and collected 200 and then they should go ahead and just reward you guys with this tea now of course rockstar games did add quite a few new outfits and clothing items with this halloween update i spoke a few weeks ago about the coding that was found for these biker jackets as you guys can see on screen this is what they looked like in that video and i did say in that video i had a feeling that rockstar games would release these for the halloween update and of course they did go ahead and do so and if you guys are wondering how i was able to go ahead and glitch this jacket onto my character as it cannot be purchased i will leave a link to that video down low in the description however if you guys are gta plus members then you guys would have known we also received this pumpkin hoodie along with this mummy outfit now thanks to data miners in the community more specifically wild brick 142 we do know that we're also going to be receiving another outfit in the coming weeks in the form of a sasquatch outfit now as of right now we don't know whether this is going to be another gta plus exclusive personally i can't see rockstar games making another whole outfit a gta plus exclusive as like i said they've already made the mummy outfit a gta plus exclusive which doesn't look to be getting released to the masses so if you guys were thinking about getting the mummy outfit like i said gta plus is probably going to be your only option however as i was saying seeing as rockstar games have released the pumpkin hoodie along with a pumpkin mask for this week's challenge thanks to data miners we do know that there's another form of a pumpkin cloven item in the game in the form of a pumpkin parachute as you guys can see on screen thanks to data miners we actually have an image of what this thing looks like so considering only recently we had the junk parachute diving added into the game i can see rockstar games adding this parachute more closer to the halloween date for just completing a simple parachute challenge or maybe playing a new adversary mode and of course as always as soon as rockstar games do drop the new halloween content into the game i will cover it for you guys so you know exactly what's included and of course finally rockstar games have yet to release all of the famous face paints and masks from the previous halloween updates I have seen a lot of you guys ask me do i know when rockstar games will end up releasing all of the face paints and all of the old masks if we take a look here on screen you can see dates of when rockstar games released all of the limited content before so they are always towards the end of october as you guys can see on screen the 29th the 28th the 27th the 30th the 31st and of course the only year where they went ahead and changed things was when covid hit and that was in 2020 when they released everything on the 22nd however of course last year they went ahead and picked it back up and released everything again over on the 28th and of course halloween day does drop on the 31st so it probably makes sense for them to release all of the main content closer to the actual halloween date so for all of you guys that were wondering when you will be getting these face paints they most likely will be dropping on the thursday update closest to the halloween day which will be on the 27th however that is going to do it for me guys like i said just covering a few more things that we can expect to see coming with this halloween update as well as covering a few issues of the current events going on hopefully you guys do appreciate me keeping you up to date with all of the latest news and if you do all i ask is you do return the favor by dropping a like down below and if you guys are new around here hit that subscribe button and turn notifications on as i do post daily gta 5 videos thanks a lot for watching guys and i'll see you in my next video Peace.